Hey guys, this is the fourth video of the warm up exercises and of interview preparation kit on HackerRank, and I'll be solving this using Python. If there are any questions which you want me to solve, or if there's something extra that I should add that I'm missing right now, then do let me know in the comments. That would really help me make my content better. So let's start the question. This is called repeated strings. Lila has a string S of lowercase English letters that she repeated infinitely many times. Given an integer n, find and print the number of letter a's in the first n letters of Lila's infinite string. For example, if the string s a b c a c and n is 10, the substring we consider is a b c a b. Okay, so basically this is going in a loop, right? The first until n is 10. Okay, so this is going in a loop until n is 10. So there are four occurrences of A's in this. Okay, so basically this is like a cyclic process where we keep going through this up until this number arrives, right? So uh, one, two, three, four, five. So this is five. So this is exactly like four. But if this was like say eight, so it would be A, B, C, A, C, A, B, C. And this A would have been skipped. So uh, this is a function description question where they've provided s which is a string and n which is the number of characters that would be included in like the range in which we want to find a so as i see this question i think uh, it's the first we just initialize the answer zero and then uh, we find the number of a's that are there in this original string right so for that we can just run a for loop for i in range length of s um actually we don't even need to do that we can just do for i in s uh, if i is a since they've said all letters are only lowercase so this makes it easier if i is a answer is like plus one so we found all the number of a's that are there in the string right so now uh, so now what we can do is uh, we need to find how many complete sets of the string s are present in n right so here like this is 3 the length of s is 3 and n is 10 so there are three complete sets of string s till n is 9 and then there is this first a so we need to like find the first number of complete occurrences of the string s so um for that we can just have this thing done here so answer is answer multiplied by now we are only taking the quotient of n divided by s so for that we can do floor division okay length s yeah so we can do this floor division here so it only takes the quotient so 10 divided by 3 here is 3 and remainder is 1 right so this will only return 3 so it would multiply the answer that we've gotten with 3 here so now we only need to find the occurrences for the remainder part of it, right? So um, for the remainder part, we can do this. So it is n divided by the length of s, but we don't want the quotient, we want the remainder. So we can use the modulus function here. Yeah. So now we just do the same thing that we did in the first string. So if s here we're using this instead of that because here this is a number so it's not going to give us like the alphabet a but the index of a so if s at i is a then we add to the answer which we got here right so uh, i think this should work i think this is it yeah i think this should work so let's run the code I hope you guys got this like this wasn't a very difficult question in this question we only had to like look at the mathematical aspect of it where we use the quotient and the remainder separately right okay yep it's done so this code works
hope this helped you guys thank you for watching and with this we've come to the end of the warm up challenges of the interview preparation set there is still a long way to go and subscribe to the channel for the upcoming videos that i'm going to make on this series and like this video if you like the explanation that i gave if there's anything specific that you want me to cover be it a coding question or a project or like there's some concept that you did not understand clearly and you want me to make a video on that then do let me know in the comment section below and i'll make a video on that i'll be adding to this playlist regularly so you can save it for regular updates thank you see you in the next video